You know you rocking with. You know what time it is. All rights reserved. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, uh, all that above. Um, let me quickly come to you guys and mention something. That it seems that from the information that I have behind the scenes that I'm not super off base. Again, I don't have access to certain information that people have that are let's say, undercoverly sitting up in the back and doing different things close to it and then trying to use leverage with the fact that they're inside the thing. But I will want to say this. A lot of the topics that they're mentioning to me, I've been addressed. That's all I can say. I've been talked about it. Ben Ben wasn't just a, a phrase. It wasn't just, it was reality. With the entire series, I've been understood certain things. And that's why I move how I do. And that's why I'm going to be moving forward with certain topics that I want to address. But, you know, again, we're always going to stay objective and we're going to ask questions. So we're back to a normal interrogation. So with that said, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell. Now it's time for my interrogation of the whole situation and just nothing different. But so I need certain questions answered. So I'm going to publicly ask them since there's so much of an issue. Did Cherry and Jocelyn know each other? Was there any type of interaction between them? Were they ever together in the same state, the same city or the same room? The investigators that investigated this situation were any of their names Affluent with the situations we saw going forward. Do you guys think. That there's zero individuals that are actually talking to authority, whether it's behind the scenes, whether it's being questioned or there's zero people that have been questioned. Or is there anyone being questioned that was close to X? Who are. The main people that you think are being questioned. Other than the suspects and people involved, other than the witness list, is there anyone else that has ever or is being questioned because of some type of evidence and connection being made? You see, there's a lot of people that doubted me even bringing up subjects or connections from the jump. There was a lot of people that said, oh, no, you're wrong. You're this. And they were saying things and there's still people that want to go on IG and run their lips and take shots. But for just 19, 20 likes, whatever, that's 19, 20 people viewing it. I don't know. They're nobody. And what's funny is that these fake accounts that I'm seeing doing it, ask them to show who they really are. If these accounts are sitting there saying things, ask them to show who they really are. None of them will. None of you will. You guys are just going to show a bunch of fake pictures. You'll never actually show yourself. You'll hide behind them. And that's why fakes follow you. That's how I know someone's fake or real. If you're following a T page and you're putting weight on it because they just showed up. And it's the same people that's been trying to stop me from talking about different things a certain way for a long time. A long time. Back to interrogation. Looking at the vehicles, was the vehicles confirmed to have been the vehicles that they listed in the report initially or has it changed? Because there was one saying that the individuals pull up, pulled up in a van, but then there's another scene that they showed the video and it was an SUV, not a van. Has that changed yet or have they stood their square on one or the other yet? Interactions the previous day, was that clarified in any way, shape, or fashion? Has anyone confirmed anything I mentioned? And quickly, I want to interject with this too. You know, I also, even though we conversated about Geneva, you know, being that I learned what I learned happened to her at a young age, I want to know, did that person get prosecuted? And if not, I want action towards that. No way that that's going to be the situation she was in and somebody gets a pass to do that. And if you're forcing yourself on women, begging for stuff, kick rocks. Kick rocks. That's the problem in the first place. 
It's because guys don't get what they want and they want to kick and scream and cry like a child. Get yourself together. Grown man or grown male. Back to the interrogation. What evidence are they using to actually prosecute these men? What evidence are they taking to prosecute these men? Now, we've seen a lot of different things. We presume stuff from the beginning of the case. What are they using to prosecute them, though? What was the exact evidence found in Michael Boatwright's grandma's car that they're trying to run with? Why did they ask for DNA after the fact when law in Florida, state law, means when a homicide is being investigated, you get it up front. You don't wait. You take it right away. Why would they ask for DNA? Presuming they actually did do the right standards and steps. Why would you need more DNA? Where's the bank footage? The bank footage ever come out? Is that still not found? That's still missing? Has anyone spoken to Victor in Panama in detail with certain things I mentioned before? Now, I haven't released the receipts from Twitter I have from Panama yet, and I'm going to because she's claiming she didn't say some things, so we got to fix that. I don't like when people say things and then act like they're not. So either you can holler at me and we could go live or you could keep to your story, you know, either way. Even it, it does no business to release anyone's government. I don't have to because thing is something's not right about you. There's something not right. You're being coached up. And I could tell when someone's being coached up because of how dumb you came in the room previous. But now you're acting a certain way and. My guys wanted me to let you know that. I don't know what you're doing. Who is actually considered a perpetrator that may not be in cuffs yet? So, yes, I'm telling you that there's very, very interesting behavior that is not being looked at yet, that has not been noticed yet, but it's going on behind the scenes, around the scenes, however you want to say it. It's very interesting behavior. Why do I have individuals that keep hitting me up, that keep trying to get personal with things and they're mocking justice? Do they really care to do so? Do they really care at all? Why? Let me ask you guys this. Is it possible that one of the videos I objectively, objectively did lead to a direct source of what it is that they're allegedly just finding out. Is that possible? With that said, how far ahead of them am I actually? And even as I do this interrogation, there's some things they haven't said. There's certain people that they're looking at a certain way. Um, you can almost believe that somebody on the witness list doesn't belong there as a witness. But, you know, that's some other things. That's another conversation. What investigators investigated the case? Was it just the ones we seen named or was there more that showed up? And because of the buddy system, that never been identified. Is that possible? Are there any further possible suspects and people that could be linked to the situation of the house parties where allegedly devising of certain topics was going on? Is this probable? Now, let me ask this golden question. Back to Cherry and Jocelyn. And I might have another video talking about it. You guys ever hear of the term ain't no fun if the homies can't get none? Were these girls that took to the opportunity to further their future and alleged adult acts, which is legal under Florida law, but because they denied certain stipulations, they ended up in their situation. Is that possible? Another question, what would happen if I was given free reign in jurisdiction, allegedly, over pursuing all leads and all activity that I choose to? Now, not that I'm locally investigating it 
But what if I was to have over 300 men at my disposal to take care of what I need? Would that be a good thing or a bad thing? Would that be beneficial or would it not? Let me know in the comments below, specifically that last part. Let me know in the comments below because I'm very curious as to what you guys think. I'm well aware of the IG things going on, but those games, they're fake pictures, fake people. If they're not shopping up, let's be real. If those pictures were really the person doing it and not just random minors or old women behind these posts doing it or men they would be flicking it up look at the normal behavior of a socialite and tell me is their behavior normal other than the words coming out of their mouth look at what they're posting me they're so coward they made their page private like are you that scared doesn't hurt me none thank you for boosting all rights reserved share like subscribe go over to the t page tell them if i'm dumpster nation i bet i'm trashing you <laughs> why do you want attention so bad huh you want my attention huh hmm? all rights reserved